Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of on the Crystal Craft server, and I am, as always, MC Mining Caveman. Um, so I'll just I'll just jump right into it. So, as you can probably tell, we're in the end. Uh, last night, uh, Jensen and I um, were finishing up. Uh, little cleanup things in the headquarters and uh, small little things that need to be done uh, to get fully prepped for the uh, move to the new world uh, still hasn't happened yet um, but since um, the uh, end and the nether are not going to be uh, updated uh, they're going uh, updated with the new map they're going to uh, leave it as it is on the server, uh, I decided to go ahead and get around to building the XP farm, well, the Enderman XP farm. Now, yes, we had the Skelly farm, and it does a really good job on giving XP, not to mention armor and stuff, but uh, as far as the uh, speed to get to level 30, um, Endermen are actually the fastest way to do it. Uh, not to mention we get a ton of ender pearls, but uh, last night we had only got four levels built, and we have enough supplies to do eight more. Maybe we got five last night and did because I think we had this full. Anyway, regardless, um, we're going to try getting it uh, at some more levels made. I uh, get the efficiency of this thing just outrageous. Um, I had hopped up here and uh, was trying to work on it and uh, Intermin spawned behind me and pushed me off and now they're all up here and uh, I you have to get rid of them before you can build and the only way you can do that is to push them off or uh, actually I'm just going to try to work around them because the past couple of times I've tried pushing them off has been a failure but anyway this if you haven't seen one of these um, they are on YouTube um, there are people that explain everything uh, a lot in a lot better detail than I'm going to but anyway um, Endermen have to fall 42 blocks to get down to a single uh, single heart remaining or a half heart remaining something like that um, so if I can take a look so there's you may, oh, is he going to TP back up here? Hopefully not. Um, there is a row of vines that is at level 43, I believe, and a row of buttons below that on level 42. The buttons prevent the vines from growing further, but what the vines do is anything that falls down at these upper levels get caught on those and their fall distance gets reset back to zero and then they fall the 42 blocks down from that point so um oh he is mad at me let's see if i can just build without him touching me so one of these things is ex extremely resource expensive. Uh, you have to have sticky pistons. Oh, I keep thinking they're looking at me. And I know I can put a pumpkin on, but it really interferes with um, being able to see what you're doing. Um, I decided to make this uh, 16, 16 spawning pads wide. So the structure is 18 because you have to include the walls on the two 
uh, the two uh, blocks on each side for the walls. So each level takes 32 sticky pistons. It takes um, 16 uh, redstone repeaters, and this is simply to prevent the redstone from uh, it, it's so that the redstone power goes straight into the pistons when we put the pressure plates down on this which activate the signal pushing the oh okay put, uh, activates the signal which pushes the piston which pushes them into the channel um, let's see and now you, now you can build this using uh, wooden pressure plates um, but uh, stone pressure plates have a uh, much quicker uh, clock pulse in game so the uh, the push and uh, reset is a lot faster which uh, can potentially increase the uh... did he just what happened to him Ah, huh. he just made one of the repeaters disappear. Yeah, that one's mad. Um, I'm gonna have to go get another repeater. I don't want to because then they'll spawn some more up here, and I want to get this level finished first. Oh, well, I guess I'm going down anyways. Um. Let me collect the stuff on the top first. Um, so yeah, lots of redstone. Let's see, did it give me back anything? Nope. And... Got pressure plates. That's pretty much all of it. Um, the, uh, the sides are half slabs on the lower half, so they can't spawn, and they are, uh, spaced, let's see, that's half, one, two, is that right? No, that's not right. <laughs> Man, I've, there, yeah, that level. So they're spaced, uh, they're spaced two and a half blocks apart so that the Enderman can't spawn in between these. Let me break that. I shall have to get a repeater, but I will take it off of this end since, is this my ladder side? Oh. Yeah. All right. And then whatever side you're not on is the side you start. So see, as you place the uh, pressure plates, the redstone signal gets sent into the block. And then back down this direction. And this one won't work until I get another repeater. Um... and then you just repeat the same thing uh, you have to go up an extra level um, so the next level starts here you gotta skip one because they need the one two three three levels for them to be able to spawn in and then when you do actually choose to be done building it you gotta cap it off with half slabs to prevent things from spawning on the top Um, so let me let me go down there let's see 
Nope, repeater's not down here either. Huh, one of the intermen ate it. So, so this is what each level requires. So, you know, you need the redstone to make the pistons. You need redstone torches to make the repeaters. You need lots of, you need lots of stone. You need lots of, um, uh, you can, you can build a structure out of any, uh, resource you want. Um, I wouldn't recommend dirt or sand since those are items that the Endermen can pick up and take with them. Um, besides that stuff's not safe to build on anyways because it's not very blast resistant. Not that there's any mobs here to destroy this. Um, uh, actually I have no idea where the island is. We we went out. I placed and Tom broke. We traveled a long, long distance um, using using dirt. I would place, and then he was like five, six blocks that direction, and we were both going backwards. I would place right on the edge, and then he would break. And it, let's see how this is doing. And yeah, we just did that for I don't know what how long it was. It was a long time. So this is already a lot more efficient than it was just before I started. Now yes, some will die when they fall. They just like with any mob farm, for some reason some are just not spawned with like full health or something and so they they die on impact. Now if too many do start dying, we could put another layer of... This is all half, st half slab, that's why they're not spawning here. But we could just put... We could possibly put full blocks down and... Um, problem is they'd start being able to spawn here. So if, um, if, the calc if they are start dying too often, the only way you could really fix that is to go back up inside and reset the level that has the uh, uh, has the vines. Uh, I feel like I need a sneeze, so hopefully I can hold it off. <laughs> Alright, so let me grab another chunk of resources for the next level. So, just it's a constant process of going up and down, up and down. And I know I didn't put half slabs up there, which means they'll probably be spawning. But let me, yeah, here we go. Let me put there. So this this is the level that resets them. So from from this level down is. Pretty sure I calculated counted correctly it was forty two. Now, if it was wrong, we just fill in this layer with half slabs, move the buttons here, and move the vines on here, and then it'll cause them to reset differently. Hmm. Need to go have a look at that. So anyway, yeah. They spawn on here, which is automatically under pressure plate, since it's not considered a uh, solid block, it's not a it's not a half slab or anything. It's a transparent block in, in sorts. And oh wait, this level can I get in there? So I'm going to go see what is wrong with that and hopefully I won't get shoved off. Um, let's see. So the stone swords are uh, still looking at uh, accepting new teammates. Uh, Jensen and I have talked with a couple people already. Um, so we feel like 
we we will be able to uh, start telling people that uh, we'll accept them. Um, we do have uh, we will have four plots for people to join on, um, but we probably won't do four um, four players right away. Uh, probably only like two, but we are kind of wanting to still wait till the 1.7 before people move in, um, simply because we don't want people to uh, have to move all their stuff only to move all their stuff. Well, I missed the ladder. That sucks, piece of junk. Um, yeah, I'm not going to announce the people that have uh, that we've been considering, not yet. Um, uh, that's that's all I'll say about that. <laughs> Anyway, I know this is going to be kind of a short, awkward episode. Um, not really anything else going on uh, at the moment. Um, I have been working in a single-player map, a creative map that um, I've been designing some uh, the uh, structures of a mega build that I want to do in the new world. Um, I actually don't have that on this computer. I have it on my uh, wife's uh, laptop. So i um, not going to be showing that off th today anyway. Um, let me add the if I leave, they shall despawn, but let me take you back to the headquarters, show you what all we've been doing. So, um, some of you might ask, uh, where's the fog? Um, since Optifine has not been updated yet, and that is correct. I found online somebody had created a plugin that did nothing other than remove fog. And so installed that and um told the uh the uh, told the um server website that I was using it and I wasn't told not to um, since it doesn't do anything else I think I'll be okay with it and I might include that with the description uh, in case uh, Optifine takes its sweet time to update and um, in all reality fog is the only thing that I used it for um, so this this is uh, Anderson's plot um, he's going to be moving into there, into the middle plot, and uh, um, he said that we could tear it down, uh, so I tore it down, uh, removed the lava, uh, I used silk touch on everything, so he got every s piece of glass um, and everything back, Fil smoothed it in, um, I took out some of his uh, walls and replaced it with stone but he's gonna have to finish up the rest of it now um, we, Tom and I, Jensen uh, and I got all this finished uh, got the potions moved off that plot on into here um, I did a I did kind of like a little drop party challenge. Um, I grabbed a uh, full inventory of speed potions and broadcasted that I was going to the arena and the first person to kill me would get all the potions. So, uh, did that for like uh, more 
more chests than we should have had. So we got all of our farms, our, uh, Jensen put the cocoa beans here, which I thought was a really, really nice touch, um, because this corner needed something, and I tried putting this piece of gravel here and having it kind of an angle, and it didn't look right. But he did that, and then I suggested that we put uh, the nether rack here, the community nether rack. So that's on both sides. And we got everything from that plot, finally moved over here, got all the uh, uh, villagers moved in. Um, we had 25 over there, we only made slots for 20, so we killed off 5 that were just no good at all, and then as we were removing them, one of them, one of them died, he glitched in the floor or threw something, I don't remember. Yeah, but he died, so now we're a short one, so we might have to go take a couple outside and breed them, or somehow obtain a villager egg um, from the admins during a special event, if they give any. Um, and, oh yeah, the pork cooker, as you can tell, the collection pad's not down here anymore. That has been moved upstairs... There, let me go ahead and close these back up. Not that it's a big deal, but you close the doors when you leave the house. Oh. That was weird. So the pork cooker has been moved up into the ceiling. Um, that we had that's one of the old spawners and we had another one that ended up being right in the middle of this so this is actually now centered in our base these are all hoppers that they fall on to let me see how we're doing not bad and we moved the chicken eggs there cows are free roaming now um, we ended up having to spawn we accidentally th through one of the eggs when we were moving them and so we went ahead and it happened to spawn a chicken so we let, let it live and we're just going to use it to uh, get our random eggs once in a while um, so yeah that plot's cleared off um, still haven't done anything in my house um, the uh, the auto trash dispenser stopped working. Um, for some reason, every time that the uh, hopper that went into the dispenser got an item in each slot, it would automatically shut down, regardless now. So I just took it out, back to the old-fashioned lava disposal, and even if it doesn't happen to go into down the chute into the lava, you can just leave it on top close it and it'll despawn. Um, been making more progress up here, uh, clearing out this. I got only a small little piece left. Uh, since Tom, I mean not Tom, uh, uh, Nick is going to be moving to the center plot. Um, we're going to have them hold off digging into the wall so that redstone can be uh, uh, reset just to a straight line and not have to angle into the wall. At the moment, I'm the only one built into the wall, and there's not really any way that I can change my house design to undo that for the move. So anyway, here is the new pig spawner up in the ceiling. Um, that will mean that we're going to have to uh, put redstone blocks up to indicate that this needs to be cut out as well. Um, but anyway, um, I had 
I had two pig spawners. Jensen actually has one more. Um, so if we wanted to increase the um, drop rate, which we don't really need, um, we can build a mirrored image of this over here and just share the same lava blade that they fall into. So that's uh that's working nicely. Um of course the skelly spawner is still working just fine. Oh, somebody forgot to turn the lights on when they left. I know, that's odd. You close the doors down there but you turn the light on up here. That's so that we'd quit having mobs spawn and right there on that that block. And then when I put that light on to get rid of spawning there, they started spawning right here. So, or like one of these two, I think it was. So, put that light there. So, turn the light on when you leave to keep the mobs out. Um, turned... I, I know I talked about some of the stuff in my last episode, but the fog was in, still on, so couldn't really see anything. But yeah, it's uh, coming along. Hopefully we'll be able to uh, decide on some new team members, start putting them down on the plot so they can start building, and this can actually look all built up again. Hopefully, uh, hopefully, uh, Nick will uh, be able to hop on a little bit more regularly pretty soon and he can start rebuilding his stuff here on this plot. Um, yeah, those chests are from all the uh, quartz, coal, and glass that he, he had built his uh, exterior structure with. And so, yep. Yeah, Still, a lot of my stuff is, all my stuff is still um, in my secret little bunker, um, waiting to be moved to, waiting for this all to be moved to the new world. So, I think I'll just, in this episode here, I know, um, I know it's a little bit different. I keep trying different formats, um please uh, put in my uh, videos uh, in the comments. Uh, tell me if there's a, a particular format you like. If you uh, like me showing how stuff is built um, or showing you what stuff, you know, just giving you updates on what has happened. Um, if just just I would like some feedback so that I can definitely improve my channel a little to in to uh, help get more people uh, interested in viewing it and so as um, as you guys give me feedback um, I will consider it and uh, uh, update my videos as as needed if I feel it's a good idea so, thank you all for watching another episode, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.